Hello there folks and welcome back to another episode of Tech It, a little fling as always, and today we're going to be using up some of the diamonds we found last time. Um, it's been quite a long way for me, I've been like, desperately wanting to use the diamonds, because, you know, the diamonds, they're OP. So, um, I've decided that the three things we're going to make with the diamonds, as we've got the six, um, we're going to make a diamond pickaxe, obviously, a our chemical chest, and... We're going to upgrade the Divining World to Tier 3. So first of all, I'm going to uh, start with the Divining World. So to make the last tier of our chemical coal that we need, we need just to put a diamond and a normal piece of coal, and we've got the valence dust there. And then it's exactly the same crafting recipe as the other Divining Worlds with the coal stuff around the previous one. So there you go. And now this Divining World will be doing 64 when we've got it to the right setting. So there you go, 64 by 3 by 3 by 3. So that's pr pretty cool. Um, let's move straight on to the alchemical chest. I think it's probably the next uh, best thing to do. I've got the iron. And then we need a piece of each covalence dust also. And we need, some f we need some smooth stone, which I don't think I actually have any of. Oh, here you go. Must be uh, made it in preparation. So alchemical chest. I'll get it up here. There you go, so two pieces of smooth stone, two pieces of iron ingots, one of each, diamond, and a chest. So I don't actually have a chest on me, so I'll make that with this wood I have here. So normal chest here, there you go, and then plonk that in the bottom. Two iron on either side, stone on either side of those, diamond there, and then covenant dust on each bit. There we have it, an alchemical chest. And last of all, I'm just going to make the diamond pickaxe, uh, normal Minecraft stuff, so a bit of sticks and some diamonds. And I still have a diamond left over for later on as well, so that's really good. Um, I think it's there. The reason I got a diamond pickaxe was just because I want some obsidian, so we can get to the nether and start looking for the glowstone that we need for philosopher's stone, which is the next stage, I think. Just checking if there's anything I really want in there, not really. So, um, so we'll put that... Uh, down and back in here. Yes, yeah, put it in there. Right. And then I believe that's all we need. We'll make that into word just so I have it there. Should put it there. And then covalence dust can go back in here. And we're all good. Right, so the first plan of action is to try and get some obsidian. Oh actually we'll put this I'll put this chest down as well. So our chemical chest um put it over here. They basically work just like chests, however they're huge, I was going to say a lot larger, but they're huge compared to the um, normal chests, and they just don't take with the one space. I'm pretty sure you can put them next to other chests as well, um, as in like, you can put our chemical chests next to each other. Um, as you can see, I put the uh, fancy grass on, I sort of, it's something that um, Ollie was doing a little bit, or well, he's, he's done it all the time since he's got uh, Optifine on. And I've never really used it, because, uh, I mean, I've played Minecraft since uh, way before, I don't know, back in beta 1.3 or something, not long after Alpha. Um, and it's just something I got, I, you know, I was used to the normal grass, but I, I kind of kind of taken to the uh, new fancy the fancy grass thing a bit, so i put that on. But, um, what was I saying? I can't remember. <laughs> Lost my trail of thought now. About the grass. Um... I don't know really. Well anyway, let's carry on with this. I'm still looking for this obsidian. Oh crikey. It's gonna be a lot easier to find some diamonds now with that. There's like tungsten there already. But um the really good thing to do with the Divining Rod tier three is to just to change between the three of them. So if you like use the sixty four and you can see something and then you use the sixteen and you can't see it, it means that you know you you're at least sixteen away. Uh so it's kinda kinda convenient just for Bit of like if you can't if you can't be bothered to mine too far, I'll check it now. Put it on the 16. So yeah, we know it's at least 16 away, but it's alright because you know we're getting a lot of extra ore while doing this. So I'm not bothered about that. Oh, I'm also getting a lot of extra lag, which I am bothered about. But <laughs> um, let's carry on going here. Probably wasn't clever going down there, but whatever. I'm being Rambo and just going going for this nickelite. I think I called. So I was watching a few of the videos back, and I think I called um, Nicolite some uh, like oh no, I can't remember what it was. I know I called one ore the wrong name. I think it was tungsten. I called it like tungsten Nicolite all the way around. 
And I was like, but what? This, do, do it, you're an idiot. So, yeah, but you, you never know what you're going to do wrong when you're doing this. There's always, there's at least something I do wrong so far. <laughs> you know, I'll get there. I'll get there eventually, uh, I hope. Um, speaking of getting there eventually, I did uh, actually manage to finally sort out all the display images for Tekkit. As you may see by the splash up, this one should be, this will be the first one that I actually put out that will be um, already have the correct splash image for before I actually put it out. Um, so as in this one will have the display image that I've made for it when I put it up rather than uh, having one of the ones that have been chosen. Oh, okay. Was it, oh wait, that was the tungsten, wasn't it? So yeah, there you go. Right, um, I'm just gonna look back there. I think that's still in there, 16, here it is. So there's more tungsten in that direction, nothing in there, nothing over there. So the only, the only problem with um, seeing tungsten is that I'm pretty sure it... Oh no, it does say second. Okay, I was thinking that when you see the 16,000 you will not be able to see uh, like any diamonds, but I just remember that it does say second as well. So if you see the 16,000 and it says second value 8,000, then you're in luck, uh, basically. I'm kind of wary from my back because I know there was a few zombies to my right a minute ago, because I am in this cave system. Uh, oh, there's a bit of stuff I missed last time. I know there's quite a few things around this sort of area um, that I didn't pick up last time because I shouldn't have the inventory space so that's kind of might be a good idea to get some well, that's the thing I could have made actually with that extra diamond I could have made a um, alchemy bag so basically when you've got an alchemical chest you can uh, make it into something a better tier basically oh that was a bit of a fail on my part eh? and then it's like you have a chest in your inventory that you can just right click to use it's really handy to have when you're going out on sort of expedition type things. Uh, let's see what I've done here. It's just a lot of cobblestone, so. Okay, I think I know where I am now. I'll get my bearings. Um, torch up a bit. Okay, what was I saying about the. Uh... Oh, yeah, the display images. Oh, crikey. So it's kind of, it was kind of an interesting thing to do. I mean, uh, oh. Okay. The. Oh, spent a little while trying to sort of make a few um, made a few for a few extra videos that I'm putting out in the next couple of days uh, like for example the, the one I put out yesterday the RS video I said that I was, I was looking forward to the new quest to be coming out I've got a little video for that coming um, it's gonna be a little while editing for that because it was I mean the quest took me a little while you know it's good uh, sort of two hours or so maybe that I spent on that, but I was reading everything and made some awful accents that I will probably just dub over. And um, nothing's just mining right now. Okay, there you go. Now. But yeah, so um, it was this. It's kind of um, sad that they didn't like voice act this one, but there were so many different characters in it from around the game that I'm not surprised they didn't. To be honest, you know, it would have been quite. It would have taken them a lot longer to do that than just what they did. I guess so. It was a bit of a sort of. A, you know, save of money and time on Jack X's part, so I can understand why they did it. I mean, it would have been kind of nice if they did both. I like the fact they introduced the uh, voice acting to quests, to be honest, because especially for um, trying to actually read it all out, personally, um, I was thinking, oh crap, when I started trying to do it, um, I kept forgetting which voices I was using for which characters, for example, um, which is probably why I'll go over and dub them, because I, I can't be bothered looking like they're uh, saying about three different languages or languages three different accents for one person um, I was kind of sad though that they, they introduced the character right at the start of the quest I'm not, actually, I'm not going to spoil it I was going to say something then and then I thought nah, I, won't, I won't put any spoilers um, so because obviously there are there are some people who watch the Minecraft videos that play RS as well as I know you know quite a few people from DVD actually watch these videos. Um, oh god, obsidian. I don't think of this. Why am I mining it with an emerald? What? I'm a complete muppet. Okay. This would be better. 
actually I'll actually have a chance of mining it out now. <laughs> oh dear. Emerald pickaxe really. Oh the mini map's all grey. That's not very nice. Ugh. Ugh. I'm not sure if that was a setting I must have filled around with maybe because I don't think it had it was affected by lighting. Maybe it's just it's night time upstairs. I guess it might be that. Um Oh, who knows, who knows. So back to the um, splash art thing though. I mean, uh, got to give a heads out from my mate Joe who told me how to do that. Because I was, I was unaware that pretty much anyone can make their own splash arts really. It was just sort of a case of clicking a few buttons and entering a number. Um, I thought it was, you know, you had to be, you know, a uh, paid, well you do have to be a paid YouTuber I guess, but I thought you had to have a certain amount of subscribers and a certain amount of views on average, etc., for you to be applicable for a, a partnership. However, um, Joe was like, "Oh no, man! I just I just got this stuff done pretty easily and just put it on there." So I was like, "Oh, jeez." So um, obviously this week I've been sort of, as I said, like just sorting out some stuff for the video cover pictures and been fixing all my. Oh, yeah, what, seven. Been fixing all my playlists and everything, making sure that all my playlists are right with all my videos. Um, because I just like being a bit neat and some OCD type things. I don't think I actually have OCD. It's just that um, a lot of the things I do are very OCD esque. I guess that's that could be how you say it. So I'm just pretty picky with a few things. Everything's going so slowly. Oh my god, what's with that? What's with that lag? No. Yeah. Oh. But yes, um, I definitely want to keep this getting this obsidian because I know, I know it's pretty boring getting obsidian, but need that nether portal ASAP and then I can get prepared for, to go to the nether for next time, which will be a bit of a blast. Um, I'll grab a flint and steel as well. I don't, I'm not sure if I actually have any flint upstairs, so I might need to try and mine some gravel. Actually, that's convenient that it's somewhere. Um, it's very nice about this. This lava is being very nice to me. There's not been a dip in the lava at all. I was kind of expecting there to be some sort of, you know, part of the lava where there's at least two things there, but it seems to be all just one at the moment. Uh, I have got some flint now. Okay, so that's good. So um, how much? I've got 11 obsidian. So I think I need a few more for a. Uh, actually, no. I can, I can make a basic, make a basic portal. So was it three on either side, two at the top and bottom? So yeah, ten. And then um, I know I need a few more a bit later on for some other things. However, I won't bother with those just yet. Um, oh, that's all good. So yeah, I'll make, I'll make the nether portal. Let's go back upstairs. I've got to sort of think of a place for it maybe because I'm not sure. I don't think things um, come through nether portals on here just yet. However, I know that there's a future update that may be put into tech. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping they will do a um, tech update soon because there's quite a few of the features on uh, the current Minecraft version that I do quite like that I'd be looking forward to. Obviously there's a few things that I'm, I wouldn't be looking forward to like the bone, bone meal nerfs etc. Um, I'm not. I'm really not sure if they're even out on Minecraft just yet. I, I haven't played an awful lot of normal Minecraft for a while really. Especially with 07 RuneScape coming out and just general League of Legends things like Quinn being out and uh, Thresh with the last champion and all this sort of thing, you know, I, I tend to just play Tech It. Um, I don't know why I'm looking in these. Actually, what have I got down here? Just some random junk. Uh, whatever. So, let's go. Hmm, where can we put this? Oh, I've got a really good idea. Let's put it over here, I think. Put it in this little gap over here. Let's mine out some of this, or dig out some of this gravel quickly. Diggy diggy diggy. Okay, and then we're gonna put it over here. In, like in the wall. Oh. Because then I'll put like a little staircase up to it in in the future. Or well, not in maybe not in the future, but soonish. There you go, so I'll put it like here. So uh, let's get a bit of get that out of the way, need that, and then I want okay, I don't have any iron on me, so I can't make the flint and tinder just yet. However, I can put the obsidian down, so that's what I'll get on with. Another one there, another one there, and then I need. I'll fill this bit in with uh, this. Yeah, this bit went in with dirt. 
Let's put those here. Oh, there's a zombie down there somewhere. Oh, well, whatever. It's been fairly, fairly good on the range of mobs. I haven't had them too many. There you go. So, I'll be my nether portal, and then I shall make some stairs up to there overnight. And then next time we will be going into the nether, try and find some glowstone and make a philosopher's stone hopefully that'll be good so until next time i've been the little fling as always peace off Bye -bye.